I was a runner, but I, my knee uh, degeneration got to the point where walking to see a patient hurt. And one day I literally asked one of my colleagues to put some steroids and local anesthetic in my knee so I could continue my clinic. And uh, that lasted me for about three months, provided really, really good relief. Uh, but the pain recurred at the end of the summer and I decided I was gonna try something else. And I did some research and uh, decided to try a stem cell injection. I had that done two and a half years ago and I'm pain free today. And uh, that's what uh, really inspired me to offer it to my patients. So, so what stem cells do is they have a couple of properties. One is the ability to renew themselves. They can regenerate and create new stem cells. And the second property is that they are pluripotential, which means they can differentiate into other cell types. The stem cells are present in high concentration in the bone marrow and lesser concentrations in other tissue like liver, skin, muscle, and they are deployed when we get injured or when degeneration takes place uh, to the site of injury. And then they interact with the ambient cells, which are the cells that are there, exchanging proteins and RNA that induces those stem cells to become the type of cell in that environment. That helps the regeneration process. We have a very gentle procedure for doing that. We obtain the bone marrow, we filter it, and then put it through a centrifuge process that isolates the stem cells, and they would be injected into the joint or disc for the stem cells. Their main function is to repair the joint or the tendon or the ligament that has been injured. We use them for ligament injuries, tendon injuries, any kind of joint degeneration or injury, as long as it's not uh, completely degenerated and there's a chance for the repair of the cartilage and uh, other tissues that are, are in the joint. Uh, we are using it for the, in the spine, in the disc, intervertebral disc for disc degeneration uh, and in the sacroiliac and facet joints in the spine and pelvis. Good Canada would have to have uh, degeneration that can be isolated to that specific joint or tendon uh, and would have to uh, have enough tissue there to work with. There is no magic bullet, but this is another option that we can offer that even from personal experience, I can tell you, I think this is revolutionary.